Guys, they said Auntie B have been crying uncontrollable as Queen Naomi and their Dr. Elizabeth decided to make her vacate the Ojaja Hotel. From what we heard, they said it's been close to three months, uh, three weeks right now, as in straight three weeks, that she have occupied uh, one of the presidential rooms, presidential suit in that Ojaja mall. And ever since Kabi Esi got married to her, anytime there is any little problem in the palace, or maybe there was a quarrel between her and the Kabi Esi, or maybe there is misunderstanding, she will just leave the palace and go straight to that Ojaja hotel and occupy the presidential suit as in that is where she normally stays. And they don't pay from what we are hearing. It's not only her, but her own is too much. You know that uh, someone like a Blue Blue is from Ileife. Uh, 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 Olori Calabas is from Ileife. So when things are that bad, most times they go to their family houses. But this one that is not from Ileife, they said her second home, as a matter of fact, that is her second home, is that uh, Ojaja Hotel, that uh, presidential suit. And you know that that is very expensive suit in that uh, hotel. So she occupying it is making them to incur a whole lot of uh, loss. So for the fact that KBSC have decided that this hotel right now belongs to Queen Naomi and the Dr. Elizabeth, because information have it that uh, KBSC decided to give uh, uh, Prince Tade Nikawo 50% of that Ojaja hotel and gave 20% of the same Ojaja hotel to Dr. Elizabeth. And KBSC, they said all this why that these women have been misbehaving, that KBSC have been watching them closely, closely watching them, knowing who they are and what they can do and what they cannot do. And he had found out that these two people that he handed over this, his investment to, they are the people that cares about them, about him. These are the people who would do everything to ensure that he stands, you know? So, giving them this uh, uh, investment, on that, giving the investment under their care, uh, it does not bother him. They said, why they were not taking action? They are very, as in he was just smiling and enjoying the scene. <laughs> Okay, oh. so they, since they said the fifty percent of the investment have been given to uh, Prince Tade Nikawo, you know that you know that Prince Tade Nikawo is Queen Naomi. Yes, Queen Naomi is Tade Nikawo. Tade Nikawo is Queen Naomi. So because Tade Nikawo cannot handle anything for himself right now, the mother is taking care of everything, and Kabiesi trusted Queen Naomi. He knows that Queen Naomi can handle it, and that is why he is giving it to her, and she is making him proud based on the ones she has been handling. The oil company is under her key. She has been that one self is not even about percentage. That one is completely Tadenikawo's own. So for the fact that uh, our Antigbi have been making this hotel uh lose a whole lot of money because occupying a presidential suit for a period of three weeks, this is not just the first time or they said the one uh, 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 previously he used to go there sometimes he would spend some days weeks and return back to the palace but since the palace is no longer conducive for her she she have decided to occupy that space and kbs is not bothered because they are his wife but right now that the major shareholders of the company of that ojeja hotel who happens to be uh queen naomi and uh, dr elizabeth they no longer find it funny with her you know, she is spoiling business for them now. That hotel is not meant for, for her to come and live in, live in there. If she cannot live in her, her husband's palace <laughs> or live in the uh, uh, lorry quarters, she can as well go to a lorry. They said they have a house in a lorry. So she can as well go there and live and start operating from there. After all, there's nothing, she doesn't have off a, a serious office in that palace. So if there's anything that requires her attention, she can come from that alluring to that place. So for that reason, they said Dr. Elizabeth and uh, Queen Naomi, they have had a meeting because the company now belongs to them. And they have to manage it. They have, the, uh, they have to make the major decisions there. Uh, before, when it was under KBSC's uh, 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 care, when it, it wholly belongs to KBSC, uh, any wife can come and say, do it this way, do it that way, and nothing will be done about it. But right now, it is under the care of the major holders, ma major shareholders, who happens to be 
with Naomi and uh, Dr. Elizabeth. And they have decided that this woman will not be there wasting uh, money for them unnecessarily. Since she's not paying, she will need to leave the place. <laughs> so they have given orders that they should tell her to vacate there with immediate effect. And they say she has been making troubles out of it. But for the fact that it's no longer, it no longer belongs to their husband, she will have to obey the orders whether she like it or not. So right now, the information have it that they have told her to vacate with immediate effect. <laughs> this life ain't eh, no balance. So. You see this life ain't eh, no balance. Seriously, do you know why I said this? When KBSC was trying to go and bring Queen Naomi back after marrying all of these women, then Dr. Elizabeth have not come. And... Mariam know that if KBSC should make any more move marrying another woman, that Kwenomi will not return. And for that reason, had it been that it didn't, he did not go and marry another person, Kwenomi would have returned then. And all of them might have been in, this, in the palace right now, you know, without uh, problems. Although there will always be problems because they are problem, problematic people. But Kwenomi might be enduring them, you know, because it's a mistake that the husband have made already. You know, so but because she wanted Queen Omi not to come close, she have ah because she don't want her to cross that palace, the palace that belongs to her. Oh, she instigated KBSC to go and marry uh, Doctor Elizabeth, and then Doctor Elizabeth have said that she's not marrying again. No, they said uh, Auntie B will always go to Doctor Elizabeth's house to go and beg her, always call her on phone to please do this for her, do it for her. That KBSC is such a good person. This and that. She was doing all of that just to ensure that Kwenomi did not return back. Little did she know that the coming of Dr. Elizabeth into that palace is going to be a blessing in disguise, a blessing to Kwenomi. Yes. So when Dr. Elizabeth came, she was forcing friendship on her. And Dr. Elizabeth doesn't want that kind of friendship because maybe she must have listened to her parents. Or she, she have her, her own sense now. Maybe she have watched the environment and see how things are moving. When they find out that Dr. Elizabeth was moving away from her, they started attacking her with uh, this sleep paralysis of a thing. When that one did not work, they even uh, put a charm for her. So with all of that, they have been fighting her back and forth everywhere, every time. At the end of the day, God used Dr. Elizabeth. The same Dr. Elizabeth that was meant to come and spoil the relationship. God used the same Dr. Elizabeth to fight for KBS's reunion with her wife, with his wife, Queen Naomi. And as God may have it, it is working out. Now, KBS have seen that Dr. Elizabeth is a blessing. That is why he decided to give her that 20%. And 50% goes to Queen Naomi and Tadenika. And 10% goes to the daughters. And now the women are running her task and crying. This is just the beginning. Whom God have blessed, no man can cause, no matter how hard you try. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. And don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Bye for now. Love you guys.